The medical term for a deep cleaning is scaling and root planing, also known as SRP. A deep cleaning is not a better cleaning, and it is not something everyone needs every so often. Those are both common misconceptions. So let's find out what it is, who needs it, and why. When you have a routine dental checkup and cleaning, x-rays and something called perio charting should be done. Whether it's every single time or once a year, the combination of x-rays and perio charting will tell the dental professional which type of cleaning will best benefit you. There are three types of cleanings, but to fully understand how dental professionals determine which type of cleaning you need, you need to first understand the importance of routine x-rays and perio charting. Bite wing x-rays are the checkup x-rays that are usually taken annually. They check for cavities in between the teeth and what we're more concerned about today, today for the purpose of this video, is how bite wing x-rays check for tartar under the gums and check the level of the bone. Perio charting, which you could watch a demonstration in my what is really happening at your dental cleaning video, is when the dentist or the dental hygienist takes probing measurements of your gums and your surrounding tissues. There is a natural space between your gums and your teeth. We measure the level of your bone in this space. Taking these measurements doesn't hurt unless you have some kind of gingivitis or periodontal disease where the gums could be a little tender, but for healthy gums, this does not hurt. We use something we call a periodontal probe, which measures in millimeters. If the space is between one and three millimeters, it's within normal limits and you're healthy. This healthy level of bone between one and three millimeters means you will benefit from a regular cleaning. Sometimes we will find areas with four millimeter pockets. That's usually okay, it can indicate inflammation of the gums, maybe a little puffy area. This is usually reversible and it's just an area to be monitored. Now, if you have areas that are five millimeters and up, this is when we start getting into deeper cleaning territories. Five, six, seven, eight, nine millimeter pockets, I've seen pocketing go all the way up to 13 millimeters. High numbers like this indicates bone loss, which can lead to tooth loss if left untreated. So for example, when you have a number higher than five millimeters with bone loss and tartar under the gums, this is when you qualify for a deep cleaning. We need to remove that tartar from underneath the gums and lavage that area clean of any residual bacteria. This is a deep cleaning. It's not surgery, it's just a more rigorous cleaning. Generally, it will be done in two parts. Your first appointment will be, say, your left side, and then you will come back and we'll do your right side. We break it into two halves of your mouth because we numb the whole side that we're working on, and we can't send you home with a completely numb mouth. You would bite your cheeks raw, we don't want that. So we usually break it up into two appointments. After your deep cleaning, SRP, is complete, we usually like to see you back in a four to six week re-eval assessment appointment where we will retake those perial probing depths to compare if there's been improvement or not. And then do a regular cleaning and polish so you're minty fresh. After a deep cleaning, usually for a year, you'll be getting cleanings every three months instead of every six. These are regular cleanings. It's just until it's confirmed that you're back in a regular, healthy, stable state. Some people need to stay in a three month recare frequency forever. Some don't, it all depends. Now, I mentioned there are three types of cleanings. One is a regular cleaning. You have mostly one, twos, and threes, maybe some tartar above the gums. That's fine and normal. See you in six months. Then there's a deep cleaning, which we just discussed, where you have bone loss, tartar under the gums, high, high, high pocketing. And one more thing about that, I wanna make it clear that if you do not get this subgingival tartar, tartar underneath the gums removed, professionally, it will not come off. For more information on that, see my what's the difference between plaque and tartar video. This tartar is an infection under your gums. This tartar bacteria essentially eats away your bone, causing more and more bone loss over time, which when you lose bone, bone is what's holding your teeth in. So the more bone you lose, the more loose your teeth may become. And worst case scenario, this is how people lose their teeth. <gasps> How does this happen? It could be a long-term effect. Maybe you haven't gone to the dentist for years and years and plaque and tartar has built up underneath your gums. Maybe you are getting cleanings every six months, but you're not flossing and you're slightly prone to gum disease and it builds up quicker for you than others. It's impossible for me to describe each individual case. There are countless variations on reasons this can happen. Talk to your dental professional and they will review your x-rays and determine a reason. Please visit your dentist and get annual x-rays. When someone declines x-rays, we can't see exactly Exactly where the tartar is under the gums so we're going in blind and it's not as efficient of a cleaning. I digress. 
Lastly, the third type of cleaning is the middleman. When you're on the fence, maybe you have a few pockets above five millimeters or no pocketing, but slightly sub G tartar under the gums. There are different debridements and localized SRPs that can be done, which just means sometimes you don't need a full mouth SRP, maybe just the molars or something like that. These on the fence situations are all case by case decisions. So I just recommend that you go to a dental office that you trust who will show you your x-rays and explain to you the reasoning. You need a certain procedure done, why this will best benefit you, etc, 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 etc. I hope this video helped you. Please share, 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 share to your friends. If you'd like to see me do a regular cleaning with routine perio charting, please click this video here. And if you'd like to learn the difference between plaque and tartar, please click this video here. Peace, love, and teeth.